Uh, hi there, I I'm Nick Vesey. Uh, I'm a 52-year-old artist from Britain. I'm here, 7,000 miles from home at Mass Mocha in a joint exhibition in the kid space area of Mass Mocha. My, my work is all created with uh, x-ray machines and I explore the human form from within. So you see the, uh, the whole of the body, including the bones from the inside out. We took a busload of fourth graders to Albany Airport, which was an hour and a half drive away. And we were very privileged where we got access to be through security to use the x-ray machines that they use there to screen people's bags before they take a flight. Before we left the airport, we gave the children uh, a disposable camera and they each had 15 photographs to take. Those photographs were subsequently developed and when they then returned to the museum two days later, we gave the children the negatives and the prints to pair together and they then selected three negatives from their selection of available prints and I'm going to make a contact print from those negatives as a present back in England to record the event. I know the children really love the day and I found it fascinating. Having spent some time here, I now feel obviously very privileged to have my work in such a great museum and alongside some of my hero, they've got some superstar artists here. But it's also made me really reflect upon what I do because I'm so busy day to day in my own studio practice to actually step out of that and come here to a museum and get asked to talk about my work. It makes you really think about what your objectives are, what you're trying to get across to people. I found the whole experience really enlightening. So what I decided to do with the children, um, this is the first time I've ever worked with children in this sense, so it was very, very new. And I tried to just, I'd like, I wanted to try and convey to them the idea of thinking of the body in slices and in cut up in different ways. So thinking about the process involved in medical imaging. And then the, the creative project we did was to make um, a head out of scans. So what we've made is a huge props for this performance. We've taken uh, large scale printouts of, um, of a scanned head and the children have made them um, fluorescent. So by using lots of stickers we've covered the scans and so they will be really strong and vibrant hopefully in the performance. And I've been um, paired with a performer, a performer called Larry Goldhupper, uh, who's based in New York. And so from a distance, we've collaborated on this performance, which has been a pretty fantastic experience. Um. My name is Lawrence Goldhuber. I'm the director of the show and did some of the choreography in it. And uh, it was my job to pull together all the elements Marilyn sculptures, her videos, all the different dance sections. We have a lot of medical text in the show. Uh, I was asked to pull together a piece uh, that related to a installation that's already, that's currently on view here in the kids' space. And I came up with the title, Body Yadi Yadi. And in our collaboration, uh, we decided to uh, break down the performance into nine sections, nine five-minute pieces was the way uh, we began to build it. And each section about a different part of the body. One of the uh, <laughs> most interesting aspects of our project was how we collaborated, because Marilyn is living in Angola, in the south of Africa, and I live in New York City. And in fact, we didn't meet until two days before the performance when we came together here in North Adams. So for me, what's been really special is tying up the residency and the workshops with the children so that, so that people in the audience preparing one of the props for the performance. That's been, for me, the most special thing. And like them being in the audience today, and I think they're really, really proud. All the people working here are fabulous and give so much time and heart to what they're doing. Um, and I really... I really believe they're going to influence the next generation of North Adams children and that in 10 years time you'll see them with their, covering their children in and it will just be second nature and that's, yeah, fantastic. <laughs>